Hey guys, it's day two of Black History Month. I hope you had a great day and I'm so ready to share some fun facts with you. So without any further ado, here is my book, okay? Little Leaders, Little Legends. Legends. If I've been saying leaders, I'm totally wrong. It's legends, okay? I'm human. I can make mistakes. Nonetheless, let's keep reading. That's how we learn. So, Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History by Vashti Harrison. You know I love her book. She's a great author. And um, if you recall yesterday, I was telling you guys about the National Black History Week started in 1926. Guess what? Guess what? Here we go. Listen, Vashti's saying here in her introduction, my first book was inspired by Black History Month when Carter G. Woodson founded Negro, Hash <clears throat> Negro History Week in 1926. His message was to celebrate the stories that had been neglected throughout history. So in this book, she's doing that. She's talking about the black men and women that are not always talked about, like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Obama, other exceptional black men. If you guys are ready, I'm ready to read your story, okay? Can I get my song, please? Read, read, read a book. We are getting smart. Here's some pictures. Take a look and quiet down to start. All right, looky here. This is my first exceptional black man. What does he have? It looks like he has a net. So I wonder who and what he does. Let's see. Charles Henry Turner. It's Charles Henry Turner. He was a zoologist and an educator. That means he was a teacher too. Okay. As a boy, Charles loved bugs. <gasps> Who else loves bugs? Kids love bugs. That's why I picked him. As a boy, Charles loved bugs. He would spend his days either outside observing insects or and animals or indoors reading from his parents massive library that means there were a lot of books massive his mother had been enslaved and instilled in her son the belief that education would lead to a better life education will lead you to a better life so you have to go to school okay Charles graduated from high school as his class valedictorian and studied biology in college. At the University of Cincinnati, Cincinnati, he published studies on birds' brains and invertebrates, becoming the first African-American to publish in Science and the Journal of Animal Behavior. Later, he was the first black person to get a PhD in zoology at the University of Chicago. Okay, Mr. Charles, PhD. Ooh. Throughout his career, Charles struggled, likely because of race, to find steady work at a college or university where he could conduct his research. Man, so he was having a hard time because the color of his skin for being black. He committed himself to fighting for civil rights and advocating for black students to have good education. He even dreamed of starting his own school for black children. While he never did, he eventually settled in St. Louis and taught at an historical black summer high school. Even though Charles didn't have access to the expensive tools and state-of-the-art laboratories the other, that other scientists had, he still developed his research methods to make many amazing discoveries about insects. He conducted experiments and determined that bees can see in color. Wow! Did you know that? I didn't know that. Hmm. By building mazes, he observed that cockroaches... Ooh, and caterpillars learn by trial and error. He found that ants use light and landmarks to navigate. Hmm. And he showed that insects have memories and that and they alter their behavior based on what they remember. Charles also was the first to notice that ants walk around their nest before entering. This action was later named Turner's Circling in his honor. 
By the end of his life, he had published more than 70 research papers and changed the way people viewed insects. Charles valued hard work and knowledge. A pioneer of comparative research, he led by example and forever broadened our understanding of different behaviors in nature. Thank you, Charles Turner, for exploring insects and their brains and their vertebrae and letting us know that now when we go outside, when it warms up and the snow is gone, we'll take note of looking at the ants and their ant holes and see if they make that circle around the ant nest before they go in. And you'll know what that is all about. And that came from Mr. Charles Turner. And that is our Black History person for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, later.